coming to drug discovery chemistry for the last eight, nine years. Lots of energy, it's great. So many scientists every year keeps getting bigger and bigger. I like the picks for the keynote speakers, definitely. I like the interactions, I like the breakout discussion sessions. That gives me the opportunity to interact with people, scientists, colleagues that otherwise I would not have the chance. It's been great. The traffic has been high quality. It definitely seems like the customer base here is very good for what we do. We definitely have tools that will make their lives a lot easier. This is a great place to have meetings. The founder of uh, CHI, Philip School, invited me here when CHI was just starting in early 90s. I participated and I worked with Phil for a long period of time. So I'm getting back into the scene and that's where I started, right here. Our work is challenging, drug discovery is hard, and we are in the business of proving or disproving hypotheses. So for most part, we end up disproving them. Now you may ask me the question, why am I in the business where the failure rate is 99.5%? We are passionate. We have ideas, we believe. So we are asking some very, very exciting questions. Small companies can do big things. The whole idea is to be able to ask the most radical questions and take the biggest risks. Do the experiment no one else is doing and you may succeed. I like that conference. It's very well organized and uh, thought through. It's busy in good and bad sense because sometimes I would like to visit uh, two talks at the same time. I think it's a nice venue. It's very sophisticated now. I think the first one I went to was 2006. So it's much bigger, really great talks. It's a conference that I look forward to going every year. I really like the venue. The science evolved tremendously. When you look where we are now in the drug discovery field, there have been so many new cool things that happened. I think the next year or two years from now will be totally novel. It's all about the people at the conference. This is what makes this conference even better. It involves people from academia and industry and this is a great opportunity for us to talk to some VPs from Pfizer, from AstraZeneca, from other big pharma companies and it's really good because we can set up new collaborations with those people here at this conference. And I think it's great. A lot of people come from different places with new ideas. The collaborations between academics and industries is very fruitful. Different approaches, different ideas, different outcomes. Very, very productive. This is my first time here. This is my first time in San Diego. I really like the opportunities to meet people in industry from academia. It's a good bridge. I've been able to meet a lot of people in the exhibit halls. I think this conference will give you a very broad, diverse scientific background and a drug discovery, different program, different field. I think that's what I look for. I've actually been here for the past three years. This is my fourth time at CHI. So it's sort of become a rite of passage in our lab to come here. There's a common ground of understanding of what are the big problems in pharmaceutical science. This has always been the best conference for macrocyclic properties. A lot of what we're doing in the lab revolves around macrocycles, which is why I've been coming to this meeting for the past seven or eight years, initially by interest, and now to give a course, which is growing in attendance. What I like about this meeting, essentially, is the fact that it stays current, share ideas, novel discoveries, breakthroughs, and that's where we learn the latest advances even before they're being published, and that's why I'm coming back. I think this is my fourth year running, actually. In the macrocycle community, this conference is a macrocycle mecca, so we make pilgrimage every year. I think it's a really good balance um, coming from an academic and now in an industry perspective. It's always been really illuminating to kind of see the state of the art, both from some of the big players and some of the smaller guys and some of the academics in the space. So it's always been a really great survey of what's happening and indispensable from a meeting and uh, networking perspective.